At the age of 24, she was awarded the doctorate degree of Cambridge University. At the age of 25, she became a university professor, and at the age of 26, she was appointed as the chief scientist of China's key research and development program. Because of her talent, famous international scientific research institutions have sent her invitations. As long as she stay abroad to carry out research work, in addition to an annual salary of tens of millions of dollars, she can also get a long-term green card, huge research funds, and the title of university professor. Unexpectedly, she was unmoved in the face of such attractive conditions, and finally resolutely returned to China. After returning to China, this woman has been devoted to the research in the field of solar cells, determined to change the situation that China's solar energy is controlled by others. After continuous efforts and struggles, she led the team to achieve technological breakthroughs and made outstanding contributions to the rapid development of new energy in China. Soon after, she published a paper in the famous British scientific journal Nature to present her research results to the world. Once this paper was published, it shocked the academic world and was instantly cited by many scholars for more than 4,000 times. Although she is so young, she has made great contributions to her motherland. So, who is this scientist? This beautiful woman is the famous Liu Mingzhen. She declined the invitation from abroad, which made people feel admirable and moved. But even such a top talent has encountered malicious questioning and slander from her compatriots. What the hell is going on here? What is the truth? In this video, we will talk about the story of Liu Mingzhen. After returning to China, Liu was appointed as the Deputy Dean of the School of Materials and Energy, University of Electronic Science and Technology of China. After learning this amazing news, there were many voices of doubt on the internet. They said that Liu's grandfather served as the former principal of the university, and it was thanks to this profound family background that Liu was able to get a quick promotion. Is this really the case? Does Liu rely on her own strength or rely on family relations to get promotion? To answer this question, we must find the answer from the course of her life. In May 1990, Liu Mingzhen was born into a scholarly family in Chongqing. Perhaps deeply influenced by the warm family atmosphere, she was very keen to absorb the nutrition from books since she was a child. When she was still young, although Liu was as lively and playful as other children, she was very fond of thinking and exploring new and unknown things. Perhaps it was this strong innate desire to explore, which laid the foundation for later research on new energy. Liu grew up in Chongqing. The weather there is sultry and she even needs to take a shower several times a day, but she found that the solar water heaters used in China are too backward, and the water temperature will become cold pretty soon. Because her grandpa is also an electrical professional, Liu learned that China's new energy technology is a lot worse than that of European and American countries. The key technology of solar energy is abroad. If she has been accepting inherent knowledge in China, it will obviously fall far short of the expected effect. With the long-term development, it will become more and more difficult to break through new technologies for China. From this moment, Liu decided to go to a famous foreign university to learn new energy technology. She yearns for Cambridge University in the UK. This dream is too deep for her, even engraved in her bones. When she was just in elementary school, she wrote about this goal everywhere. In order to go to Cambridge, a good level of English is a necessary condition. She memorized words and recited grammar day after night. She motivated herself by writing, work hard and get admitted to Cambridge, on the title page of the IELTS textbook. She has to work hard for this lofty goal, because she knows she is not a genius. So, did Liu get what he wanted to enter Cambridge University? Sometimes fate is like this. Liu's academic road is not smooth. She aimed to apply for Cambridge University with confidence, looking forward to the next exciting journey, but in the end she was accepted by the University of Bristol, majoring in electrical engineering. That year, Liu was only 18 years old. She walked out of her high school and stepped into the unknown University of Bristol alone. It was already depressing to pass by her goal, and she was alone overseas. The helplessness made her even more flustered. 
Unexpectedly, when she first arrived at the university, she encountered her first setback in her studies. When she pulled a suitcase weighing about 50 kilograms and came to the Bristol University dormitory with great pains, the doorman shut the door upon her face because she had not made an appointment in advance. To make matters worse, the admission staff responsible for receiving freshmen also left work in a hurry. Helpless, Liu could only stay at the door all night with her suitcase. However, the gruelling journey of the UK trip has only just begun. After officially studying in this university, Liu deeply felt the obvious discomfort in both her studies and living habits. Although she took the IELTS test in China, it was only when she arrived in the UK that she found that the English spoken by the locals was completely different from what she learned in China. In the UK, people have their own accents. Liu can only understand some of the words used in daily communication. She can't understand many English dialects at all. What's more, the teachers in class are all professional terms. Immediately, Liu felt an unprecedented sense of depression. What made her even more timid was the practical operation. When the teacher brought a stack of circuit boards, Liu was stunned. She had learned theoretical knowledge, but she had no operational experience. Liu decided to get rid of her fear. She bought a recording device, recorded all the knowledge taught by the teacher, and went back to listen to it repeatedly. For the experimental operations that require hands-on, Liu is more focused on observation and learning in class, for fear of falling behind a certain step. In Bristol, few people can work as hard as Liu Mingzhen at the undergraduate level. Students can see Liu almost every time they go to the library. Soon, her efforts have also been recognized by professional teachers. After graduation, the professor also wrote the highest evaluation for her in her graduation report. When the professor knew about Liu's dream, he wrote a long letter of recommendation to Cambridge University and then helped his proud students win interviews. Liu naturally lived up to expectations, successfully passed the various assessments, and finally entered the coveted Cambridge University at the age of 21. The later story is what you have heard at the beginning of the video. At the age of 23, this girl has won many honors and research results that her mentors did not get in their 50s. Major scientific research institutions around the world have sent her invitations, but she declined all of them and returned to the motherland with her research results. Now, her figure is still busy in the laboratory late at night, but this time is in her own country. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. Please keep following our channel and like our videos. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that worth spreading every day. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.